Okay, uh, I forgot to. I should be very clear. So, if there's if this is a later version video, it was because um, relevant. Um, after I came out of cars that I, I was staying in beds, I got an anonymous tip off. And I seriously, I was like, what the fuck? I like, never in a million years I expected to get an anonymous tip off of somebody um, online. Contact me online and told me uh, about Linda Creamer was the regional director for Tusa where I was, which was, I was in Sergeant, remember Sergeant Morris McCabe, former Sergeant that was in a tribunal with Linda Creamer over being accused of paedophilia. He said, cause she walked at the end, remained the regional director. They put it down as a clerical error. They It was ruled as a clerical error without any other evidence. Linda Creamer remained the regional director, but I was in the same catchment, the same building, the same um, same regional director as Sergeant Morris McCabe at the same time. My files were in that office. It, the same. They said that they, they so they moved they moved the office, and they said that the files got mixed up by somebody that worked in the the, the that section like of in his case that was the ruling like that it was an accidental clerical error while they were moving offices and moving all the files but my files were in the same the same office and were moved at the same time as sergeant morris mccabe and it's like if that if they could if that if um if they could if like, they're committing a clerical error in Mar sergeant morris mccabe's face case as was the outcome ruling that they decided the judge decided based on the evidence then obviously then obviously my fucking files could also have had been mixed up with somebody else's because i was in the same office my files were in the same office at the same time the same regional director were moved as well at the same time as morris McC sergeant morris McC mccabe's with Linda Creamer as the regional director, and this tip-off said Linda Creamer, regional director, basically. And I went, okay. So anyway, but anyway, so but what I read, I mean, what I was told. So they didn't tell me anything. They brought in the EU data, fucking protection thing. All the fucking laws got ropey about what you could. You can't get access to your own files. You can't get access to your own information. You have to fucking actually send in an actual request. And then they're free to black out and delete stuff and leave stuff out at their own discretion. So it's a fucking, it's an absolute fucking cock show. Like, it's unreal. Like, um, um, yeah, so anyway, but what I, so basically the way that I was being treated in Cars when Rashida, Tusla, and uh, Christine and all was. What sounded like was that when I walked in to the staff room where my rapist was working that I didn't know when I got the job, I found out when I started. And I walked in on him on like the first day or something like that in the staff room talking to somebody about me. And he was saying the most disgusting, grotesque, misogynistic slurs, bullshit to an another staff member I hadn't even met yet. Um, uh, which was fucking oh my god so fucking un unbelievable i ended up i quit the job after three months while over something else he was it working in a different section so i didn't have to see him um uh yeah um <coughs> but in the uci cinema but anyway um years back like when i was 20 or 21 and um yeah and that what what uh the, the way that i was being treated by all of them when i had toby like the hysteria, the fucking absolute complete mentalness, like the fucking people screaming and ranting and stuff, people I hadn't even met before. Like when I'd be over in the Tusa office and stuff and people would be like just standing there just ranting and raving and like like not even looking at me, like directing it at me, just fucking absolutely, fuck, absolute lunacy. And the way that Christina and all looked at me with like absolute disdain and disgust and stuff like that for no fucking reason, we haven't given them no fucking reason whatsoever. Um, that I can only assume that what the, was said in my report that Rashida read, Rashida did not work there at the time. She didn't move to Ireland to 2013 when the case was already finalised about Fuelan's custody. Then she moved to Ireland and started working here from England. She is um, of Indian heritage. 
She grew up in fucking England with her parents. She's as British as they come and she's Muslim. Oh, so, and she's a fucking psycho. And fucking, they wouldn't fucking accept that they went into court and took me to custody for Toby. And they wouldn't fucking let on to the judge that Chris Rashida was acting like an absolute psycho the entire fucking time. She was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I couldn't fucking make heads or tails of her. I found out, I figured out after a year, it took me a year to figure out that someone was fucking stirring her up back in the office, Tulsa office, when she went back after meetings with me. Then she was coming back on the same subject matter, so, stuff that didn't even have to do with Toby or parenting and all, and acting like a complete lunatic psycho. Mr. Hyde, like after fucking coming out, uh, after fucking being completely normal about it beforehand, and I finally figured it out that someone was fucking prying her, winding her up about me back in the Tulsa office without a shadow of a doubt because I couldn't make fucking heads or tails of her for an entire year. She had me so fucking confused, you wouldn't fucking believe. Um, oh, but anyway, they were completely ripped. So I can only assume that what is said in those files was the same both type of misogynistic, horrible, horrible, horrible fucking slur that I heard Connor Matthews fucking saying about me when I walked into that staff room unexpectedly on my lunch break and heard him talk, overheard him talk, telling another guy that worked there that I hadn't even met yet all about fucking this, I can't even remember what he said, I just remember like being like, oh my fucking god, I've never heard anything like this in my entire life. His name is Connor Matthews, he's from Malahide Village and he was a yuppie. He didn't go to my school and I didn't know him before, he was a fucking dickhead. It was a date rape, we hadn't had sex before, we were good two week. we were going out two weeks. Uh, I met, ended up, I've met him because I ended up at a party barbecue, we live on the same road as my mate in the village. I ended up in a barbecue in his gaff with like 40, 50 people, the big house, like, kind of rich parents. We were out for two weeks, we hadn't slept together. Decided to, ha decided to sleep with him. We went in my house in Seabury, where there's no CCTV cameras, we weren't even drunk. We fucking, it was the middle of the day, and fucking, uh, we started off normally, and then, but anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, I just want to fucking name and shame him again.